Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here, may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that the price uh, made a nice move today. I mean, when you consider where the price was at its low points and then where it actually closed, uh, you know, the price has finally started to bounce. I mean, this one has been getting absolutely hammered. And like I said in past videos, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta think there's a bounce coming and the bounce has indeed happened. But this now moves us to the next logical question, which is, but is there any sort of true power behind this bounce? Is there any sort of genuine strength behind it? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping that out very straightforward. And that level has to do with right there at 60 cents. So why is 60 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 60 cents. Any sort of closes below there, or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range where it was when it was flirting with those lows. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around, so essentially does what it does did right there, You know, just bounces around a little bit and then start to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have that low down there. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's going to make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying that statement, make progress as 60 cents. Now, what about levels of resistance? As it stands right now, going into next week, that key level where the sellers seem to be hanging out at, is right up there around 70, 71 cents. That's as high as it could get today. So keep an eye on that. But in my opinion, top priority right now is not necessarily breaking resistance. It's all about going through some health consolidations and building higher lows. Because as long as higher lows begin to be built over longer periods of time, that's how those long-term uptrends are gonna be constructed. So yeah, nice way to close out the week. Good solid bounce. Now let's see if the bulls can build upon this bounce next week or not. Or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.